It's November 2022 and just released on Windows 11, File Explorer tabs. But what about users for Windows 10? Well, Microsoft say they're not getting them. Well, this guide is going to show you how you can put File Explorer tabs on Windows 10. Details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. So, as I say, as of October 2022, Windows 11 users are lucky enough to have these file tabs in File Explorer. So they can flip between Windows very easy or different parts of the hard drive easier. But Microsoft aren't going to officially launch these for Windows 10. So this guide is going to show you, if you've got Windows 10, how you can put them on your system. Well, first of all, what you need to do is you need to go into the Microsoft Store. That's this little icon down here on the bottom. Now, if you haven't got it on there, click on the Start button. And when the Start menu appears, just type the word Store. S-T-O-R-E. Then hopefully after a few seconds, under best match on the start menu, should come up Microsoft Store. Move your mouse over it, left click once. And once the store opens up, just go up to where it's got there, search apps, games, movies and more. Click in there and type in there files app. That's two words, F-I-L-E-S space app and what you're looking for is you're looking for this yellow and blue files app folder just there once you see it then left click once on it and then once you see the blue get sign move your mouse over it left click once now it may well ask you to sign in here to your microsoft account if you've got one then sign in if you haven't got one then try clicking on the cross just to get rid of that it may well let you download it anyway without signing in. But if it does ask you to sign in and it's persistent, then sign in with your Microsoft account details. These are usually uh, a Hotmail, an Outlook email address, or even a live email address. If you've got one, that would be your Microsoft account. Or when you signed up for your Microsoft account, you might have used a different email address. Let that download, it might take a while. So just be patient while it's downloading. And once it's installed, you should see the blue and white open there. So click on open and there you go, it opens. Now what we can do is we can pin the files app to the taskbar. So just go to the yellow and blue folder icon at the bottom of the screen there, right click on that and then just left click pin to taskbar. And that means that that app will always be there at the bottom of the screen. You've got the, I'm just gonna close these down. You've got the original file explorer app down there just the plain old boring yellow one and that gives you the original file explorer and you've also got the blue and white app there which gives you the new and improved file explorer and most importantly it gives you tabs at the top of the screen so here if um, i go into say home for instance and i want to add the pictures to another tab I can just right click on it and go open in new tab and there we go pictures is there home is there if I want to open documents as well just right click on it open in tab and as you can see there there you go I've got pictures and documents just there so you can do all sorts of things if you want to add another folder to favorites let's just go and find that folder so I'm just going to click on my username there say if I wanted to add pictures just move my mouse over pictures click the right mouse button that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse and there you go you've got pin to favorites left click pin to favorites and there you go it appears in there You've got loads of extra options in there if you want to uh, to use them. Obviously, this video is really just showing you how you can get tabs working in, uh, in, in Windows 10. But if you go into the icon, the gear icon just there, you've got settings there. So you can choose your different colors, choose your themes, go into sidebar if you want to show libraries on the sidebar you can if you want to turn things off there you can so loads of different options in there as well if um, you wanted to get rid of the old explorer icon off of the bar at the bottom of the screen then what you can do is you can just right click on that okay and then left click unpin from taskbar and there you go that gets rid of the old classic explorer icon i'll just move that there you go into place there 
so that when we click on that, we actually get the file app with the tabs on there instead of the old classic Explorer. So there you go, a great way of getting tabs on Windows 10 so that you can flip basically between different windows quite easily. So there you go, as you can see, I've got pictures, I've got downloads and I've got documents all in there and I can just click on the tab that I wanna be in and that takes me to the place in Explorer where I wanna be. Now don't worry, the original File Explorer is still there. If I click on uh, the uh, Start button there and then I just click on any one of these folders just there, then it should open up documents and it opens it up at the bottom there. If you wanna pin it back to the bottom with any yellow folder open, not the yellow and blue folder, but any yellow folder open, you can right click on that at the bottom there and then left click, pin to taskbar and move that in. If you wanna get rid of the files app off of the desktop, then again, you can right click on the yellow and blue icon and click unpin from taskbar there. If you wanna get rid of it entirely, then all you need to do is click on the start button, okay, find the files app and then right click on it and then a menu comes up and there you go, you've got uninstall there, you can left click uninstall and it says this app and it's related info will be uninstalled, click on uninstall again and that will then remove it from the system. So there you go, a nice easy way to add tabs to File Explorer in Windows 10. As I say, this is gonna be available in Windows 11. Most systems that are running Windows 11 version 22H2 already have it, but unfortunately, Microsoft don't have any plans to launch this in Windows 10. That's where this app comes into its own. Don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, you'll find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some money. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family, or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.